Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, why not? Please make sure you do right now because I'm constantly putting content that is directed by you that's going to not just improve your financial future, but improve your finances right now so that you feel so much more comfortable with money and you feel so excited, motivated, and empowered about what your financial future holds for you. So subscribe away if you haven't already. So on that topic of being subscriber um, directed, this video is actually a subscriber request and it is how to navigate your finances in a cashless society. Whether we like it or not, we're heading towards a cashless society. I read the other day that in South Korea, they'll be banning coins by 2020. That's not that long away. But this is one change that we can do nothing about and we're going to have to step up, accept, learn to change our habits, our perspective and attitude and then adjust our habits so that we thrive. And this is exactly what this video is all about. How to navigate your finances so that you are in control in a cashless society. Now before I launch into this video, I want to explain to you why a cashless society needs to be entered with caution. When we buy things in cash, it actually physically hurts. When we hand over like you know, three crisp green $100 notes to pay for that item that we're so excited about, we are very present. We are very conscious. We are actually doing an exchange. There are all these studies that have come out and said when we pay for things in cash, we spend less. It's actually called the flinch movement. And they discover that it, because it physically hurts, we avoid it. So therefore we spend less. Now when we're just doing this or that, or is in my case with my phone, I can just go we're not conscious, we're not present, and we might be doing this mental accounting system in our head, but it's not accurate at all. So for this video, I want to explain to you strategies, ideas, and habits for you to incorporate in your everyday finances so that you do not let this cashless society plague your finances. All right, number one, if you are entering a cashless society, I want you to use a simple debit card. Now, if you are using a credit card, then this is the one exception. You're using it healthily, it's paid off in full each month, and you've got savings and investing, and you're right on top of your financial goals, well then that's fine. Keep using that credit card, especially if you're collecting points. But if you're one of those people who knows that they should never have a credit card, because they're always in credit card debt, and they're always chasing their tail, and they never feel great about their finances because of that credit card debt, I want you to stop using that credit card and switch to a debit card. Habit number two that I want you to develop is checking your account balance every day. Maybe every night whilst you're lying in bed, it's really quick and easy to do with the banking apps that we all have. Now by doing this, it'll actually make you incredibly accountable because you will see how much money you've got in your savings account and also work out how much that money needs to last. And you will adjust your spending habits for the rest of the pay cycle so that that money can get you through to the end of the cycle. Habit number three is to review all your transactions when you look at your bank account. Look through and look at what your expenses are. And if you are following my mantra of love, value, use, and appreciate, then that is fine. But if you're looking through and thinking, oh, that's quite a lot of money. Oh, that's adding up. Wow, oh, I don't really think that's worth, or I would prefer to have that money still in my savings account. Well, then that is a time for you to review your expenses and stop those mindless, conscienceless transactions hitting your account. You need to get back in control of your finances. And it might be hard initially, but as you start to see that you have money in your savings account and you're able to last, you'll actually really appreciate the habit itself. Habit number four is simply do a budget. Now there's this really negative connotation that comes with budgeting. People think only poor people or frugal people do budgeting. That is a load of crap. I budget, I have plenty of clients who are multimillionaires and they budget. Budgets are just simply spending boundaries. They help you prioritize where your money needs to go and what you can allocate to needs versus want. Now, for most subscribers, they probably already know this, but when you subscribe to the Sugar Mama website, not just the Sugar Mama YouTube channel, you will get a complimentary Excel spreadsheet template, which you can work from to do a budget. It's really quick and easy to use. And of course, there is still the Sugar Budget app, which I designed myself, which is a more advanced version of this template that matches your calendar, reminds you and gives you banking instructions. There are actually plenty of apps out there. Another great one, which is the Track My Spend by ASIC, which is a government app. 
and that enables you to write down every time you spend money and then you can review it at a later date. However, the thing with having a budget versus tracking your spending is it's kind of like that analogy, the horse is already bolted. You want something that proactively helps manage your money. And then the fifth and final habit, which you must take if you want to get ahead with your finances, not just in a cashless society, and that is to set reasonable, accurate and defined financial goals. I do not want you just to be surviving financially paycheck to paycheck. That's not good enough and you're so much better than that. The world is a really big place and there's so much out there for you to achieve, see and do. When you start incorporating financial goals into your spending habits, you get a sense of priority and you realize that new $300 dress is lovely and beautiful, but actually I'd prefer to see $300 in my emergency savings account, which I'm really trying to build up. Or I'd prefer to see my credit card debt or student debt come down by $300. You get a sense of comparison and you start making healthier, more empowering financial decisions that comes with financial goals. So if you could incorporate these simple, easy five habits, I guarantee you, you will quickly see and feel the benefits of it. And you'll have a great sense of being back in control of your finances, regardless of whether you're operating in a cashless society or not. But the point I want to make is you've got to be proactive as you embark into a cashless world. You've got to be in control of your finances at all times. You've got to make sure that you spend responsibly and you value what you are doing. And remember, with everything, practice makes perfect. So keep these habits going so that you don't even think about it. You just do it automatically. All right, that's it for this video. Have a great week, everyone. As I said, subscribe if you haven't already and keep on giving me your subscriber request videos. I am getting through the list and I am getting them out to you. Have a great week, guys. Ciao for now.